Earlier, I posted a poll just to gauge the reaction on a casual update on my free-to-play account's progression. To my surprise, an overwhelming percentage of you actually are interested. So here's what we've done so far. This account was created day one of global release on server 17. This little first top up icon here is my badge of honor showing off that I haven't made any purchases. I am however using all the partners I can get my hands on. I'm not limiting myself in any way from what I can obtain for free. I claimed all my pre-registration rewards and I occasionally participate in Discord events, albeit I rarely win when I play. The account is currently level 59 at the time of recording. Our campaign progress is chapter 28 and around the end of chapter 10 on Shadow of Heart. One unfortunate byproduct of being free to play is we don't get the pity partners for summoning, but we can at least track how many summons the account has done this way. We've currently summoned 673 times and this is what our archive looks like. A little sparse in the S plus regions, but getting down to the S and legendary partners, we can see I've obtained nearly every single one. I did happen to pull one of the super rare partners, however. She isn't my favorite to use, especially with how limited she is due to being the only copy, but I do get a kick out of using her in camp arena. I can farm 5 star secrets in the prison with ease, never failing a battle with full auto. I haven't pushed farther yet due to the recommended levels, but I'm still obtaining a fair share of 6 star secrets from shop and events. I'm using Mary as my main carry and it hasn't always been the best. She can definitely take a lot of hits, but her ultimate could be better. I pair her with an assortment of different teams, but always with Prince Glass. The possibility of her performing the ultimate twice in a row helps a ton. Prince Glass is also a decent stunner, and yes, I'm that guy that uses 3 stunners. My underground ruins is far from impressive, but here are all my current floors just for comparison's sake if you want to check your progress to mine. My main arena team is fairly decent, usually landing me around the top 15, and higher if I actually remember to use my tickets at arena rush hour. My elite arena, however, is complete trash. I lose practically every other battle if I don't carefully place my teams. My personal records on world bosses are also fairly low, despite being carried by my powerful guildmates. I never really noticed before, but my beta account was actually the golden account. I was given every opportunity, including the Sea Witch, and I still walled myself in progression. What this shows me though is that I've become better at the game in terms of team building, careful use of diamonds, and in general more game knowledge. I've blown past where I was on my beta account in probably half the time. It's also pretty clear based on my beta account's level versus progression that there are a lot more rewards for global. There's no way I've had over 600 summons on my previous account, and it's level 70. Also, by taking advantage of some of the stronger lower tier heroes early game, you can really stockpile a massive amount of summons over time. And speaking of time, I don't want to sit here and cover every single milestone of the account, so here's a flash speedrun of everything else. All in all, I've had a pretty good experience so far. I'm not bored, I'm still unlocking things at what seems like an appropriate rate, and at the moment, I have no desire to quit playing. I'm actually working with some people and planning to release much more high quality content in the near future. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, then feel free to join my Discord. But other than that, y'all, that's gonna do it for me today, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.